Welcome back to Artec. Today we're going to review the 32 inch Trunic HDTV. So we have reviewed some of the other Trunic brands in the past and uh, this happens to be a non-smart 32 inch TV. It's got uh, USB play, it's got uh, anti glare panel, it's IPS display, USB to USB copy, good stereo sound, uh, some games built in and two HDMI ports. Uh, it also comes in another model called as the 7001 series which is a smart TV but again that's not full HD. Um, so let's go ahead and open this box and see how this looks. So uh, they have provided a wall mount inside Packaging is great, the prompt, uh, customer service number as well mentioned, uh, also available on Amazon, um, you can look it up, I've left the link in the description, um, just going to tear this up, alright, so there's another nicely packed, there's another thermocall box inside which kind of holds everything in place. And straight away you see there's the stands for the TV if you want to keep it on the table. They're made of plastic, full of plastic and they do have a little bit of reinforcement at the bottom. Yep, and there's the wall mount bracket provided free of cost. So, so it's it's got Bluetooth as well. This TV you can play audio from a Bluetooth device, and uh, they have given a nice protective screen on the display. When you buy it first, you can peel it off. Okay, that's the manual. It's again just a nice simple white book which has some details of the television. You wouldn't need one. Uh, that's the remote control unit. Uh, it's pretty much similar to what you'd get on any other standard televisions. And uh, you also get these batteries with it and the wall mount and uh, the table mount screws. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this table mount so that I can keep it and show it to you guys. So at the side you would see uh, good connectivity options. The HDMI ports are at the bottom and uh, it's also got a VGA port, it's got audio out ports, uh, PC audio out, earphone, you know, earphone socket as well. So um, on the you know on the right side you also have some uh, AV inputs. Not that we use them a lot these days. So the TV does consume about 55 watts of power, which is really good. The power cord is fixed. You cannot detach it if something happens. You'll have to replace it by put putting a full new wire. And uh, those are the speakers. So you could see they're pretty decently sized. I'm, I'm guessing they're at least six watts RMS each. So uh, they're down firing as well. So they should sound good. These are the controls for the TV. Manual controls at the back. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on immediately now. And the branding is prominent when you put it on for the first time. And it straight away starts into the tuning mode. So it's got all these options which say what you know what input you want to select. I'm gonna go ahead and try and play some movie straight away. I don't want to waste any time. So let's play a movie. Yeah. So no problems whatsoever. Running a hard disk which is more than 320 GB, so no problem handling that. So it's not a full HD TV, but it still has 
um, IPS panel which makes it look really good the pictures are sharp I know the camera doesn't do any justice showing the pitch quality but um, it, it really looks good and this is a full HD movie clip but uh, it is downscaling it to 720 and showing it to you guys and all these picture modes you know doesn't make a lot of difference switching them from movie mode so that's the options you have there to save power it's got this eco mode system which kind of reduces the LED brightness you can also enable audio only mode which means the picture screen will get turned off if you leave it on so a lot of other options in the menu you can explore it you do have some surround sound options and uh, it's also got uh, Some of the standard features which all TVs have. Just wanted to quickly, quickly wanted to show you guys how the games work on this TV. I mean, not nothing, you know, extraordinary. Just a few games like Snake and, you know, just they're just basic games. They're not 3D or high definition. They're simple games for your kids. So this is the snake game and then I'll just quickly run you through the rest. It's got uh, Sokoba and it's called. And then it's got this Minesweeper kind of a game. And I think it's got one more game. Yeah, and this is the brick game. Well, good enough for a little bit of time pass. So if you're looking for a low budget TV option, you can actually go for this TV. If you're looking for you know a little bigger TV about 40 inches full HD they have that option as well it's got exactly the same features as this TV just that it's full HD and it's 40 inches and they also have a small little TV which is a 24 inch TV not a full HD but HD ready it has the same features again uh, maybe the 24 inch can can't do a USB to USB copy but uh, it does have a nice panel and uh, good sound to it so that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching Artec. This is a small video for the Trunic non-smart TVs. Hope you guys like it. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.